Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install a door lock. For those who don't know how to install a door lock, this can be a very simple task. As long as you know exactly what you're doing, you can get this job done in as little as about five to 10 minutes, providing you have the right tools. So for this door that I'm installing on, it already has the hole for the door drilled out. It also has the hole at the front, which catches the and locks the door. This door got swapped out from, what's that place called? Habitat for Humanity. This door was actually $25. It's a solid door and it already came with everything already hinged out and, and uh, holed out for us. I'm gonna show you guys another door in a separate video, how to make these measurements yourself and how to drill these holes, what heights that you actually gonna want them on before you actually are able to install your door handle. So for this handle that I'm installing, this is just, um, it's a hall closet door. Like there's no lock or anything that's like, you know, some doors you can lock them from the inside. This one, there's no lock on either side. Like, you know, the bathrooms usually have the locks on the inside. So this is the one I'm going to be installing on this and the one with the lock I'm going to be installing on the bathroom. So once I have all my pieces open out of the box, I can do a dry fit and see exactly which way they're going to be going and how I'm going to tackle this as easy as possible. So the first thing I want to make sure is that the ball on my door latch where it's going to close, I want to make sure that that's facing towards the door where it's going to be closing. And I want to make sure that this plate that I'm installing goes flush inside the door. Now I have rounded corners on my door and my latch itself has square corners so i'm just going to trace around it and i'll take my exacto knife or if you have a chisel you can just chisel out those four corners that way your latch can go directly into the hole that's mortised so for me once i squared my corners and I tried to insert my latch, I noticed that I needed to go down deeper into the door about a 30 second because on the back of my latch, there is a metal piece that's prohibiting me from going deeper and allowing the latch to be flush with the door. So here you can see I'm trying to put it in and I still have a 30 second space. So I do need to bring this deeper. I would recommend using a chisel to just chisel out a little bit more so that your door will accommodate for that space on the back of the latch to get it flush. I, however, I'm gonna be using this oscillating tool. It's just much faster, I'm comfortable using the tool and it's gonna save me a ton of time. So now that I removed that little 30 second, I can get my door nice, my door latch nice and flush. I'm going to pre drill some pilot holes before I screw my actual door screws into the door. Now, some people don't do this step. I prefer to do it. It just, it allows the screw not to say pull to the side or go off center. And that way I know once I put it in, it's going to hold it exactly where I put those two pilot holes. Now in your pack of screws, you're gonna see different lengths of screws. Now these screws that I'm putting in, you obviously, you'll be able to tell the difference as, as opposed to the ones that we're gonna be putting through this to accommodate the door latch itself. So keep that in mind. Now this door latch, as you can see, it can move. So if your hole that was pre-drilled in this door for some reason was either too far to the left or too far to the right, that center hole will adjust left to right. So you will be able to get your, your door handle into those holes. So the center hole itself is the one 
that's going to allow the door, the square, the square center one, that's the one that allows the door to open and close. This piece that came with this door lock, I've installed many door locks and I've never had this piece. This is just a piece that ho basically holds it in place and allows you to, I guess, have a free hand because sometimes without that, it, be it can become very wobbly or very loose. And this is just a, a piece to reinforce um, the movement on the door. So I need to secure this piece to the door itself, but the holes to do that are on the inside. So I actually need to remove this housing from the actual door handle itself. And there's a little pin that you just push. There's this little key comes with the pack. And if you push that in the little hole, it will just release it. You don't have to put a lot of force. You just press it in the hole and the door handle will come right off. Now this metal housing, however, has tabs. You're gonna see two tabs on the top and bottom and you just need to free those two tabs from the housing itself and it'll pop off. So I'd suggest take your time. You don't wanna scratch or dent the actual piece that's gonna be seen. So take your time, remove it gently, and it, it, you shouldn't have any problem taking it off. Now, before screwing it to the door, you'll wanna make sure that it's, you're, you're screwing it on correctly the first time. So do a dry fit, see which way the holes need to be aligned, and then you can put it exactly the way it needs to be. So in your pack, you're gonna see two long screws that have a flat tip there should be no point on these tip and they're going to be the longest screws in your pack. So I don't think you can, you can mistake them. So I like to hand tighten these by hand until I get a good thread amount into the back of the handle on the other side of the door. If you try to use a drill and the threads are not aligned correctly and you push it in, you will strip the threads and then your door is just, it's garbage from there. You'll have to replace, you'll have to replace the handle itself. So good, good thumb in mind, hand tighten it till you get at least three quarters of a way down. And then you can use a drill on a low power, low speed, and don't tighten one side all the way, go left and right, bringing in the door handle completely snug on each side. Okay, now we're good. We can put our face plate back on. See the same tabs that we had on the top and the bottom. Now we can address those back on there. It's a good rule of thumb. If you are using a square plate, you wanna make sure that everything is level. I like to use a little, um, a little level and a torpedo level, throw it on there just to make sure that uh, it's level. Now stick your handle on and that's it. So for here, um, I thought I already had this strike plate mortised out, which I didn't. And I totally forgot that I actually built these, this door jam custom as opposed to the one that was in there existing before. I'll probably do another video on that showing you guys how to build custom door jams. But for this one, I have to mortise out my strike plate. So the easiest way, if you notice what I did is when the door was closed, I just marked the center of that door latch and just traced that mark on the inside of the door. Now I can take my strike plate, put it in the center. I'm, I'm literally just eyeballing this because once you have the center of the door latch or you can do a mark on top of the door latch and the bottom of the door latch so you know where the door latch is going to fall inside of the jam once you have that mark take your strike plate put it on the, the door jam and trace around it with a sharp pencil remember we don't want to go outside of the line we want to go as close as possible to it so I'm just using um, my oscillating tool again. I'm just gonna make a little bit of notches, working my way down, not too deep. It's better if you go a little too shallow, put it in there and 
see if it's flush as opposed to cutting it too deep and then your strike plate is buried in your door so keep in mind take your time we still want the door to look clean when it's done if you do uh, use a chisel um, and you mark part of the door something you can always you know touch it up or paint it but I, I would recommend not using this oscillating tool and doing this yes it is faster but if you're not familiar um, with the vibration and the blade that the end of the blade you can overcut something or just a, a, make your work seem a lot more than it, it really has to be so use a chisel first time a sharp chisel make your notches make your way down and then once you have that you can clean it up put your piece in test it see if you need to go deeper and continue the process until your piece is exactly nice and flush with the door jam and it is where you need it to be So once I have my marks, I like to just take my chisel and do the outside perimeter right, a, right in front of my line just to clean it up. So once I chisel down off those rows that I slit, it won't peel the side of the wood with it. So I'm just using my, my same chisel with a little hammer, just tapping it gently down the back and just cleaning off all those little cuts that I've made there. Okay, so once I got that cleaned up, I got my strike plate nice and flush. I can put it in. I like to mark the center of that hole or trace around it so I know exactly where the door latch is gonna fall. And then I'll draw a X or a cross in the middle so I know exactly where the center of that hole falls. Next, I'm gonna take my spade bit. I believe this is a 15 and 16 inch spade bit. Um, you can obviously put this up to the latch of the door itself and just make sure that it's big enough. But yeah, for this one, I believe it is 15th and 16th. So it's literally a 16th short of one inch. Okay. So. You'll notice these two holes on each side of the center hole, that's prohibiting my plate from being flush. So I'm just gonna circle these out. I'm gonna use a little drill bit and just make a little depression in those holes. It doesn't need to be anything pretty. It's just to allow the strike plate to sit flush. Again, I'm gonna make two pilot holes just so my screws are not gonna move around on me when I go to drill these into the door jam itself. I'll align them in the pilot hole, screw, and that's literally it for the strike plate. And there you have it, your door closes and opens. So if we didn't have to mortise out this latch, we would have been done this door a long time ago. So keep in mind, this can be done in as little as five to 10 minutes.